Hey there, Gavin Gu here from UltimateRelator.com. If you're thinking about reloading rifle ammunition, there's a whole bunch of things to consider. One of the first things that you have to think about is the equipment, the components, and the supplies that you're going to need to get started. And it's a non-trivial list. There's a whole bunch of options. So rather than have you get completely overwhelmed, I'm going to walk you through those essential components that you're going to need and the not so essential components that are going to make life a little bit easier on you. So let's get started. I'm going to give you an overview here. One of the first things that you're going to need to consider is what kind of press to start with. For rifle ammunition, a single stage, like I've got here with the Redding Big Boss 2, is a great way to go because it's very simple, it's not very expensive, and in this particular case, I've got uh, this lock and load bushing conversion kit installed so that I can really quickly insert and remove dies, which is a, a great convenience. A turret would have a spinning head that allows dies to index and you've still got one shell holder uh, on the ram that holds the brass and that will allow you to have multiple things set up at once. But again, with this system, it's so easy to insert and remove dies that you don't feel like you particularly need a turret. Turrets are great as well. A progressive press will have a shell plate that has multiple stations and multiple die stations and will index each time so that each time the RAM cycles, multiple operations are going to go on. My recommendation, start with a single stage press and use a bushing system like the Hornady Lock and Load Bushing Conversion Kit. All right, in our lineup of equipment, uh, we've got a couple other things. This is a case trimmer. This is the Redding 2400. And what you do is you insert a brass case and the cutter head will take off a small amount of brass. This one has a micrometer to adjust it, so it makes it really easy to uh, make precision adjustments. You notice here we've also got primer pocket cleaners. So if, if I was deprimed here, I could just twist the, uh, the brass there and clean out uh, the primer pocket. Having a trimmer is really important for rifle brass because each time it's fired, uh, the case mouth typically gets longer and longer and longer, and eventually that's going to cause chambering issues. So um, I've got a couple things here. I've got a, a micrometer. This is great for uh, measuring bullet diameters, brass diameters, things like that. Um, not an essential, but definitely nice to have. Digital calipers, I would call this an essential. You're going to measure cartridge overall length with this. Uh, you can also measure things like bullet diameter and other things. Uh, definitely uh, a good thing. Case overall length as well uh, to know when you're going to need to trim. Uh, we've also got the, the powder measure here. So during the rifle reloading process, if we're manually throwing powder, uh, we're going to hold our brass under the bottom. And then in this case, we've got a rotating drum. It's going to dispense a powder charge. Uh, this one has a micrometer, which is really nice so that we can make precise, repeatable adjustments to, to the metering insert. All right, let's work our way back a little bit. All right, here I've got a die set. So this is a three die set. And for rifle, that's gonna be decapping. It's uh, gonna be your seating die and your crimping die. Um, we've also got the, the shell holder. Um, here we've got a case lube pad. This is the RCBS case lube system. And what this pad does is allows you to charge it with uh, lubrication liquid, fluid. Um, and then you roll the cases on the pad to lubricate them. And then you can, you can roll your uh, case mouth brush on there. And then you'll apply lube to the inside of the case mouth uh, so that your expander ball uh, has minimal friction and then the case lube on the outside of the case is going to prevent uh, the case from binding in your sizing die. So there are other options here. I've got some DCL from Dillon. This is a spray on case lubrication. Uh, there's also the, uh, the Imperial case sizing wax, which you uh, apply to your finger and rub on the outside of the case. You can also use a Q-tip or a brush to apply that to the inside uh, of the case. Definitely an essential for, for rifle loading. This is a powder trickler and what you do is you just uh, fill it with powder and then uh, turn the knob and what that does is it trickles granules of powder out and into uh, your uh, tray 
The tray is part of uh, the digital scale. So here I've got the Hornady GS350. And what this allows you to do is weigh bullets, weigh powder charges, weigh cases, whatever you need to do. And so what you'll typically do is you'll uh, zero out your, your pan and then you'll uh, either just have the pan, do a charge, measure the charge weight and then trickle. Um, or you can even zero out uh, the scale with brass on it and then go ahead and charge it and then put the brass back on and then you'll actually have just the, the weight of the powder on your scale. So digital scale, another must have. Uh, if you don't want to buy something expensive like this, uh, mid-range Horner GS350 scale, you can get inexpensive jeweler scales uh, that are used for weighing things like diamonds. They do a great job down at the grain level. Uh, this is a powder funnel. So this is sort of funnel shaped on both sides. So it'll work with a, a variety of different types of brass. And uh, you can use this to, to uh, assist with powder. You can empty powder with it. Um, another nice to have, it's not uh, totally a, a, an essential. This is a case deburring tool. So uh, what this will do is it'll allow you to deburr the inside of the case mouth, put a nice little chamfer on it, and it will also do the outside of the case mouth. So after you trim your brass, you're gonna to wanna to do that because it's gonna have a, a slight burr on the case mouth. This would be an essential if you don't have a powered case prep center. Here I have the, uh, the Hornady uh, hand priming tool. So this, you, uh, you put your primers in, you shake them until they're all uh, oriented properly, and then you use a, a shell holder to manually prime your brass. Now that Redding Big Boss 2 that I showed you actually has a slide bar priming system. So you can either prime by hand or prime on the press. Let's go to the back row here. A few more things that uh, we're gonna need to get started rifle loading. Uh, of course, brass, either new or previously fired. Uh, powder, uh, I would recommend Varget as a great, uh, very versatile powder. It'll do 223, it'll do 308, it'll do 30 out six. Uh, it's a very consistent burning powder and a lot of people really like it because it's extremely accurate. This is a uh, universal loading block. Uh, this is the Hornady loading block and this allows you to keep track of your cases as you're going through the loading process. Uh, you can even put this right under your uh, powder measure and do multiple throws at the same time. Uh, it's great to take a look down and inspect uh, powder charge level, uh, that sort of thing. So uh, one thing that I'll do typically is I'll load some at the front and then I'll move them to the back as I'm going through a particular process loading so that I can keep track of what's been processed for a given stage and, and what hasn't. So ammunition boxes, uh, factory ammo boxes, styrofoam and cardboard work great. Uh, this is an MTM box uh, that I've used for, for 22 250. Uh, you can use this as an ad hoc uh, loading block if you don't have a, a loading block. Great way to categorize and keep track uh, of your ammo. I recommend using labels. I've got free labels on Ultimate Reloader that you can download. Bullets, of course you're gonna need bullets. Uh, any cartridge is gonna need a projectile. So, uh, you know, it's good to have a variety of bullet weights uh, so that you can experiment. Uh, a variety of types, polymer tip, hollow point, um, boat tail, non-boat tail, that kind of thing. And then of course we've got primers. Uh, so Federal makes great primers. I also use uh, Winchester, Wolf. Um, I've got a, a variety of different um, primers that I use for different things. Uh, CCI BRs, uh, the BR series are, are great. Uh, the bench rest primers. Um, so that's pretty much it. So there you have it. Those are the essential and non-essential items that you'll need or want to get started loading. Now this is by no means an exhaustive list. There's a whole bunch of other things that you can use that I like to use. Progressive presses, bullet feeders, fancy case cleaning setups, that sort of thing. 
um, but it's surprising what you can get by with with a little bit of ingenuity to get started. Now, there's a whole bunch more resources that I've got on ultimatereloader.com, and if you look at the accompanying full blog post, I'm gonna have links to all sorts of resources that will help you get off the ground reloading ammunition. Most important thing, take your time, be safe, and have fun. Thanks a lot.